So while I was away, the setting man at Internazionale Coppia Bartoli was on. I can use all the footage, so I thought, let's get on stage by stage. First stage is this. Dunbar was on the break. There's only highlights, so we don't really know how he got away, but I assume he tacked on the climb. Uh, which was like 20 or 30k to go from the finish. Mario Schmidt launched it on the descent. It was a 3k climb at like 9.5%, yeah, or like 30k-ish to go. Um, and Schmidt went on the descent, managed to get across. There's 20k to go there. Um, so a fair, you know, not too far left, um, but still quite long for two riders. Um, but I think Ineos were actually happy for Schmidt to come across uh, because it meant there was more chance of it staying away. They weren't going to chase. Um, there was Van der Poel, um, who was sort of, I guess, one of the favourites for this race. Ulysses. It's it's a classic sort of Ardennes style of race where it's really not super long climbs, but a lot of them up and down, relatively steep as well. Um, we had some good riders. Froome Dog was here. Garrett Thomas, Ben Tullet, uh, Eddie Dunbar. Ineos always bring a really strong team here. Uh, Kieran Uti Bricks, who is also super highly rated, Nibali, um, uh, James Shaw, a couple other big names as well. Um, uh, Stedman and Double were here for the UK boys, uh, for MG Kappa Vis VPM, uh, which is always good to see. And anyway, here's the chasing group. As you can see, Nibali, Van der Poel, uh, Tobias Foss. Uh, there looks like Simon Carr as well. Uh, there's Natnal Tetsvatsion and a couple other boys who I can't quite recognize. Uh, but yeah, there was a strong chasing group, but nothing like mental. Um, it was really UAE who were going for Emma, Team Emirates who were really chasing quite hard. Um, and they were really trying to bring it back. But alas, not much actually happened uh, until we sort of get towards the final. So now we're in the last kilometre. To be honest, Mario Schmidt has this sealed up, to be honest. Uh, Eddie Dunbar's obviously going for the GC, really. And more than anything else, that's why he's there. Um, obviously, he wants to win the stage. But as soon as Schmidt comes across, I mean, look at the size difference. It's, you know, Dunbar's a punchy boy, but Schmidt is uh, super strong. He won the Giro stage in, uh, to Montalcino last year, uh, beating uh, Alessandro Corvi. Uh, and it was a really impressive ride. Anyway, Dunbar tries to go early. I don't really know what this is. It's a half lead out, half sprint. He now really starts to wind it up, but I think he should have just wind up later or just lent on Mara Schmidt and said, you're the favorite for the stage. Alas, Mara Schmidt has a lot of sprint and it was such a long sprint um, that, you know, they were going from 250 meters, 300 meters to go and Mara Schmidt cruises in for the W followed by Eddie Dunbar. Well, what I want you to watch now is Ethan Hayes. Now, Ethan Hayes, as some people said on Twitter, very overrated. Look at Van der Poel on the left, at, leading out a long way to go. Ethan Hayer comes past him. No tomorrow. Had the Rona over winter. Was not in his best condition, but still beat him in the sprint. Took third on the stage. And we're going to see from the side angle as well, because it was a pretty convincing win. And we're going to be watching Ethan Hayer more and more. So here's Mario Schmidt cruising to the win. Uh, he's really underrated, in my opinion. I think he's super good. As a shame... Uh, uh, Quebec Assos folded last year as they had a real rider on his hands, but Patrick Lefebvre picked him up for quick step and he's looking in top, top condition um, in sort of the semi-classics, I think, especially some of the Italian day, like one day races like Trey Valley, Varacina, etc. I think he's going to be a real favourite uh, in order to pick up some of these wins. Uh, we really like the slow moves uh, for the Italian lot um, but we're about to see the finish line cross here so you can see Dunbar got it by like almost a bike length and Van der Poel looked over like who are these people then Tetsfazion um, followed by Pesenti and Ulisi and Sobrero um, but yeah super strong from uh, Mara Schmidt but also really impressive to see Ethan Hayter just out sprinting Van der Poel I love to see what Hayter can do if he focused really on the cobble classics but also in the Ardennes I think he has a good chance of uh doing well so anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy uh tune back in the next couple of days because we're going to have more and more content from this top quality race